the old man has gone back to the first hole now that he was blessing and this time they're going to put up the fish trap let's hope this time nobody walks in front of me Ty tells me if the first pole that's put up in the ground actually falls over we can't start building the house again until next year and true to form Ty walked straight in front of me amazing isn't it And now the builder and the boys, builders themselves, are putting the second post up. A man driving a big Triton who's come in here now. Never set eyes on him in my life and he's happily taking pictures. The boy who fell down the hole yesterday appears to be recovering. Just in case I missed just in case I missed the camera malfunction then for some reason the man is finished doing his trick and the new builder has arrived. Toy so wanted to use the camera but she's intent on spoiling everything I do by walking in front of me. I think basically it's done now, they got to, the builders have got to chuck stuff in. My mother-in-law is going around throwing a, what seems to be rice into every, every hole. No, I don't think it's rice but whatever it is, it's uh, some sort of powder, magic, magic powder. They're all grouping together now.
That's convenient. I think the builders are going to pick the big metal column up, stick it over what remains of the pile in the ground, and he's going to stick that. There we are, he's sticking the banana shoot, it is, not a root, sticking that on the top. And he's got a fine space, he hasn't managed to get his fishing net sorted yet. He's got to stick that on it as well somewhere. Come on girls. Come on, no problem. See the girls are dressed all in black, the builders. And one of the builders has now jumped down the hole, but uh, the old man's la lady wife is standing conveniently in the way of the action. I've got to get up. Just being able to see the fish end thing is on the floor and more bananas stuck in that. Now the builders are working together and this is the moment. And they are of course putting it in a totally different hole to that which the man was messing about with. So obviously they know what they're doing and I'm just uh, an ignorant farang who is, this is my first time for seeing this and presumably it couldn't be my last. So there we are. Obviously the builders have seen this done many, many times. So. There's a piece of string involved as well. I'm not quite sure what that, that's all about. And now somebody's brought a sledgehammer. I apologise, this is going to be very disjointed because people have walked in front of me you offered to do the thing though she's never even picked up the camera let alone used it so it's been a bit of a cock up and I can't ask them to start all over again That's, he's hitting that stick in in line with the piece of string that's going from one side to the other quite why I don't know They know what they're doing anyway, so it doesn't matter about me. <laughs> ah! They're propping the metal work up now with another stick.
I think it was very wise not to get the monks as well. I wouldn't be able to bloody move you if you had those. Just changed the camera to a different mode because I don't think I was filming anything of any value. The first post is now up and held in position by three sticks. Sticks are being used for everything here. Building houses and everything. So there it is. That is the first I would imagine later today they'll be putting concrete into the base to secure it and possibly even begin putting shuttering up today. I don't think there's any plans to have a big concrete lorry here today. That won't be coming for a couple of days for sure. Okay, we call it quits. The old man has gone back to the first hole now that he was blessing and this time they're going to put up the fish trap. Let's hope this time nobody walks in front of me. Ty tells me if the first pole that's put up in the ground actually falls over we can't start building the house again until next year. And through the form, Toy walked straight in front of me. Amazing, isn't it? And now the builder and the boys, builders themselves. are putting the second post up. A man driving a big Triton come in here now. Never set eyes on him in my life and he's happily taking pictures. The boy who fell down the hole yesterday appears to be recovering.
Take my phone off me. I don't need that anymore. I took one picture. Well, look what we got. Gotta be fair to them. The one thing that they do better than the UK is that the delivery of building equipment is on the ball. They haven't been delayed doing anything they needed to do, waiting for stuff to be delivered. The coordination is quite remarkable. Saudi cap. It's the big cheese with the lorry, and he's just lied me and said how are you and all that sort of stuff. And uh, here we go. Amazing. They put the shoot. I'm going to sit down. I still got my bad leg, but this is inspiring. So I'll carry on. How many of these lorries we got, Toy? Come in. Quite a few, but a little bit at a time, I suppose. So you don't know? I don't know, but I know, but we can't. Well, are you going to pay separate for that? No, no. Let's hope not. I'm going to pan left and you can see a cat that I've never seen before walking across the top of a wall. The neighbour has stopped selling his, celebrating his retirement. And it's comparatively quiet. In fact, we are making more noise than anybody else now. Here we go. Vroom, vroom. The smallest builder in the world has just arrived to supervise everything. There's the first lot of concrete going in. You can hear it sliding down. You can just about make it out going down the chute. It's about 7,600 from this top But the man is paying for that, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Company. Oh, oh, lucky. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Toy has the knack of walking in front of the camera. There's the young gentleman who fell down the hole. Doesn't appear to have done him much harm. But I would imagine that the hole was upset a bit.
This certainly isn't boring anyway. That's, uh, I hope I'm not being too flippant. I think I'll stop here now because it's quite repetitive in its own little way. They filled the one hole and now they do in the second and we might just be able to see a bit more of that depending on how I pointed the camera very small screen in this camera and I'm not used to using it. I was using it with a mobile phone attached to it and that worked very well but the mobile phone died on its way to Thailand. I can't get one which is suitably light. So here we go, this is the second hole. Only another 26 to go after this. When you think the old house behind us has stood for over 50 years with nothing at all like a foundation, uh, it does make me think that this is possibly a bit of overkill. I know in South Wales we had a rough foundation on our bungalow, but that was only because the man who built it had upset the people in the planning department to such an extent that we're making life as bloody awkward for him as possible. For years after, he was almost in tears when he told me they had forced him to build a raft. Since then, a number of other houses have been built in the local area. And surprisingly, the planning department haven't asked for raft foundations. Indeed, in one instance, they've allowed the building of a house on a stream and I was forced to remonstrate with them and call them crooks. They didn't do anything about that. So I'm safe saying it now. What? You 
don't know what the duo type. But it isn't just old, it's a small screen. Energy drinks have just been delivered to the concrete crib. There'll be rum jam full of caffeine. I drank a couple of bottles one night and I thought I was going to die. Well, I am going to die, but you know what I mean. of the concrete lorry has actually given the energy drinks to the, our builders and he's having a quick swig himself We, on the other hand, are simply giving bottles of our cold water to people. Cheap Charlies, what's us? Weather absolutely gorgeous. Strangely, I'm not missing eight degrees and pissing down rain. I think that's the first lorry done, I think. So I'll call it quits for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.